guys, thanks for watching. Today's video is something I have been planning for a while. Um, it's gonna be a review of the makeup brush set from the brand My Makeup Brush Set. They are the funky oval shaped toothbrush looking brushes. If you go on Instagram or social media, you've probably seen brushes like this before. They are all the rage right now. I've had quite a few questions about these brushes, such as do they work, are they worth the money, and what do I think of them? As a little disclaimer, these brushes were sent to me by the brand. However, they did not ask But they did not ask me to make this video. They were just like, hey, do you want to try our brushes? I was like, yes, I do. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Yeah, I was really curious about these brushes. I'd wanted to try them for a while. Um, I know the Artiste brushes are kind of what set the trend. Those are extremely expensive. I cannot afford them. But from my understanding, these are more of an affordable alternative. So I have been trying them out for the past month or so. Um, I really wanted to take the time to kind of try each brush, work with them in different ways. That way I can really get a feel for them. They arrived in a padded pouch. Um, similar to the pouch you would get if you subscribe to the Morphe Me monthly brush collection. And inside the padded envelope was this cute little bag here with the brushes inside. So this is the silver set and it comes with quite a few brushes. <laughs> so there are 10 brushes here. This is the silver set. There are quite a few different sets online. So you get a very large oval brush along with three smaller variations you get a thinner oval shaped brush. These ones are a little different. So here there are very, very thin, almost like paintbrush style brushes. Again, of kind of varying size, a medium and a small little guy. And then you get two more kind of dense flat brushes. So these ones here, as you can see, this one here has longer bristles. It is more of a kind of rounded, dense thickness and it is flat on the top. This one is almost the same, but rather than being flat, it has a more rounded tip. I've been keeping mine displayed in this jar because I love displaying my brushes and I think they look really cute. So my first impression of the brushes was that they were extremely soft. They are super smooth, super soft to the touch, um, not coarse or rough or kind of itchy whatsoever. They are very densely packed. So you can feel really just how thick and how many bristles there are in here. So I was very impressed by that. As for the handle, it does feel more of like a high quality plastic. It is not like the super heavy duty ones I believe like the Artiste brushes are. With the large size initially, I thought it felt a little flimsy just because the brush head is so large compared to this tiny little neck. So at first I was kind of skeptical, but after trying them, I actually really do love these brushes. The large size is definitely my favorite. You can use this for foundation or powder. It does work well for foundation, but my favorite way to use it is to use this with a setting powder. So after I do my foundation, I just dip this into my setting powder, whether it is a loose or pressed powder. Like for example, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder is what I use a lot of the time. So I just dip the brush in there and I lightly press it. Um, because it is so soft and so dense, honestly glides the powder on your skin. Some brushes make your skin look very powdery and cakey. This really does a great job of smoothly applying the product to the skin. This is also great if maybe your foundation is not a perfect match for your neck. Say you need to kind of darken up your neck, you can just use this and rub it along here and it blends it out so quickly. The mid-size oval brush is I think more of a foundation brush. I do really like this to kind of spread out and initially apply my foundation. I will buff it into the skin. However, just my personal preference, I still kind of like to finish with a sponge. It probably seems very extra or high maintenance to use both a brush and a sponge, but that's just my preference. So I like to kind of dot the foundation on my skin with a brush like this and just kind of buff it out. And then for the final blending touches, I'll use a damp sponge. If you want a little bit more precision or control, um, the third largest brush, <laughs> this one right here, is great for that. For example, like if you want to kind of get around the nose area, any like nooks and crannies, that sort of thing. I like to use this one on my forehead because I have kind of a small forehead, especially along the sides. So this really just like buffs foundation into my skin and my hairline really well. You can also use this to blend out cream contour if you just kind of want to cover a large area. But for contour, I like the smaller two of the oval brushes. Um, so this is the tiniest little guy and this is the one that's a bit bigger. 
So I love to use the smaller one to actually apply that line of cream contour and then to blend it out I like to use the one that's a little bit larger just because it does a better job of blending and kind of buffing the product in. This little one is also good for kind of doing a really quick nose contour. So you can use this with powder or liquid and it just really gets along the sides there. Unless you have a super tiny little nose then it might be a little big for you but I do not. As for the thin kind of flat brushes, the largest one I actually like to use in a multitude of ways. So you can use this for a sharper contour. This is great to contour the sides of the nose with if you really want to slim your nose shape out. But this brush actually works really well for applying highlight. I actually just tried this the other day and was like, holy crap, why did I not try that before? So for example, to apply a cream highlight, uh, you can just lightly dust it in the highlight and holding it kind of sideways so it's flat against your cheek, you just lightly sweep it on. So lately I've been using this to apply both my cream and powder highlight. So I'll apply cream highlight first and then I'll take a powder highlight and dust that right over top. This one is also really good to um, kind of lightly bake your contour. So for example, if you feel your contour or blush is maybe a little sloppy, uh, if you take some loose powder and just kind of line it right underneath, let it sit, and then brush it away, it really cleans up that line. The second largest of that one is the one I usually use to apply my nose contour. Um, the longest one is great, but I kind of like a little bit more precision and control, which is what this one gives me. So I will dip this into my contour stick. Um, today, for example, I used the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 330, and I just lightly swept it right along here. Again, a lot of different ways you can use that. Um, the tiniest little guy is probably the one I use the least out of the collection. Not that it's a bad brush or anything, I just, I don't know, I just don't use it as much. This can be used to apply a color to your lower lash line, for example, which is what I did today. Or if you really wanna sculpt and chisel out that nose, you can use this for contour as well. This would also be a good brush to use for um, kind of concealer to clean and sculpt the brow area. As for the more rounded brushes, um, the one with a more rounded tip, I love to use for applying lipstick, especially liquid lipstick. It gives you a bit more control and it applies your lipstick in a thinner layer. So for me, I like applying liquid lipstick in a thinner layer because if I apply too much, that's when it starts to get kind of flaky and thick on my lips, which I hate. So especially Especially if you want to mix liquid lipsticks like I did today. So today for example I mixed Pure Hollywood and Crush by Anastasia Beverly Hills on the back of my hand and then I just dipped the brush right in it and smoothed it onto the lips. It really applies it smoothly, it kind of fills in any fine lines that you might have. The last brush is very similar um, but it is the one with the flat tip. So this I actually really like as concealer. If you're having a breakout or a blemish um, to dip this into some concealer and press it onto the spot really just kind of pushes on coverage rather than say a large flat brush which is sometimes hard and it looks a little streaky and you have to keep blending it. You could also use this on your lips. Um, personally I kind of prefer the more rounded tip for lips. I just think it applies it a bit more easily for me. So admittedly I wasn't really that familiar with this brand until I started seeing them on Instagram. They do have a very large sort of social media initiative where they do send the brushes out to a lot of blogs just to help build exposure. So initially, I will admit, I was pretty skeptical. I wasn't too sure what kind of a brand it was, quality was gonna be like. So that's why I did wait about a month or so, that way I could really try them out before making this video. It says that they offer a lot of beauty tools for a discounted price, so a lot cheaper than, say, retail price. So this brush set, it says is originally $400, but they sell it for 40. So I'm not sure if that is just a crazy markup. They do come in a ton of different colors. My favorite's probably probably the Midas Touch or the black and gold set. I really want those to add to my collection. But as for the quality of the brushes, I am so impressed. I haven't had any problems with the bristles shedding. They seem to be holding up very well. They're a lot sturdier than they look. They did also send me the straightening hairbrush. So that product I was very skeptical about. Wasn't expecting to really love it or anything like that, especially since I don't really use very much heat on my hair. Honestly, I'm lucky if I do anything to my hair at all because I'm lazy. I wish I had the packaging to show you. It did arrive in a box that I have currently misplaced. <laughs> the packaging that it arrived in was not the best. It barely had any English on it. it. didn't have that many words and it kind of looked like a cheap knockoff type product. So I was very hesitant to actually use the brush. 
but my mom and I tried it together and I'm very happy I tried the product before fully judging it based on the packaging because it's awesome. Holy crap, it's amazing. So it looks like this. Looks like a big hairbrush, um, but these parts here heat up like a flat iron. So the main reason I hate doing anything to my hair is because I am lazy. When I'm getting ready, I can easily spend two hours doing my makeup, but I refuse to spend more than 10 minutes on my hair. Probably doesn't make sense. You have long hair, so I mean curling it or straightening it, it just takes a lot of time and I don't really like to damage my hair as much as possible. However, my hair is naturally kind of wavy. Um, it'll get kind of frizzy and have weird kinks in it and I don't like that. So, so I did want an option for something to kind of just quickly smooth it out without having to put too much effort in. That is exactly what this gives me. So it heats up to I believe 230 degrees. It gets very hot. Careful that you don't actually touch this part here when it's turned on. You will burn yourself. Just say. I learned that the hard way. I let my hair air dry and you literally just take your hair and brush through it. It takes me less than 10 minutes to do all of my hair. It is the fastest tool I've ever used. I usually put it at about 180 degrees. That seems to be a good temperature for me. If you do have very thick, coarse, or curly hair, say more of like a tight curl or afro type, turn it up higher and it will still work really, really well for you. Again, it's super affordable. I think it's only like $40 on the website. My only complaint with this is where the buttons are located. That's not exclusive to this though. Pretty much all hair appliances I find have kind of an awkward placed button area, so my finger always bumps them and I accidentally turn it off. Overall, I am so happy with all of the products I've tried so far. Definitely think they're worth the money. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.